and thanks so much for joining today. We're going to talk about bloating because I know it's a topic that is on so many of our minds and that we all deal with. And, um, you know, I'm curious from you, so give me a comment below. If bloating is something that you deal with in the morning or if it's something that you deal with more later on in the day, like evening or afternoon time, because I know that can be very different for all of us. So let me know in the comments below when it is that you deal with it. And I've got some tips, no matter what time of day that you deal with bloating. Um, so we're going to talk about bloating for both times of the day. And, um, you know, we're also going to talk about bloating with how we deal with it with both consistency and variety. And I realize that those two terms can sound a little bit conflicting, <laughs> but they actually do um, work together. Um, so, you know, recently I was really struggling with some bloating myself. And, um, you know, I'm a mom, uh, my son is seven years old, and I was just kind of chalking it up to like, well, this is just what we deal with as moms. I've had a baby and my stomach just does these things. But then after a while, I was kind of feeling like, gosh, I'm in so much pain. I'm so uncomfortable. There's got to be something that I can do. And for me, most of my bloating was primarily in the evenings, but it was starting to creep in to be almost all day long. And I would wake up feeling bloated also. And that's when, you know, I kind of like was like red light, something, something's going on. And I heard a podcast that um, gave me some clues as to some stuff that I could do differently. And, um, you know, it was especially during quarantine that I was starting to creep down a road that I was, you know, thinking I was, I was leading a, a, a healthy lifestyle. And I certainly was, um, but I was doing some things that were leading towards bloat and that really uncomfortable feeling. And so, you know, let's get right into what we can do differently to get rid of that bloat because gosh, it sucks. It's so painful, right? Um, and it, it can be painful physically and it can be painful emotionally. I mean, give me an emoji, a heart or something below if you know what I am talking about, if you felt that. Um, so let's talk first about consistency. So how we can start to work that blow out of our lives through consistency. And when we get consistent with our portioning and balancing of our food groups, that can significantly help our bloating. You know, especially if you're somebody who is feeling like, gosh, my bloating is happening later on in the day. Um, maybe are you finding you're tending to eat more of your foods later on in the day and eating lighter earlier in the day? Sometimes that could be a lack of balancing your foods and your food groups. And if you start to balance that all out throughout the day, that can really help the blow. It certainly did with me. So I also got consistent with my water as well. So meaning um, making sure I wasn't waiting to drink all of my water later in the day. I was so doing that. I don't know, give me a little <laughs> emoji below if you've done that yourself. Because having a kid, working um, full time from home, you know, doing the homeschool thing, I was getting lazy about going and filling my water bottle and thinking like, oh wait, I don't have time to go to the bathroom. And here is a tip drinking a glass of water right before you eat every single meal, right before you eat every single snack. That is a great little tip to get really consistent throughout the day of drinking your water. So another way of getting consistent to help bloating is consistent with your sleep. So getting the same amount of sleep every single night, and yes, we all need eight hours of sleep every single night for our body to rejuvenate from the work that we give it every single day. So consistency your body can function better with consistency. So also consistent with our exercise. So when we're only exercising a few days a week, then um, it's like it's 
it, it, our body is like, wait a minute, now what am I doing? And then it gets those few days of rest and then it comes back to a workout. Wait, wait, now what am I doing? So all that fluctuation, I have found personally with my body, it gets really confused, which then causes bloating. So the more consistent I am with the way I'm eating, the way I'm drinking my water, the way I'm sleeping, the way I'm exercising, the more steady my body is and the less bloating that I have. So there's the consistency. Now the variety that comes in to help reduce our bloating is again in our foods. So um, I have found by, I am, I tend to really like to eat the exact foods every single day. It just gets really easy. There's enough going on in life. I don't have to want to have to think about what do I want to eat every day. But when we do that, the body, I don't know the science behind it. I just know that it gets a little too used to it and then bloating can start to happen. And I know there's a lot of science behind this whole seasonality of needing to eat by season and then bloating is reduced. And I will tell you this, I started to do that in these past six to eight weeks and already I've seen a major reduction in my blood. Little teeny things, I didn't go major into this, but little teeny things of just when you're at the grocery store saying, okay, I normally always have baby carrots for my snack. I'm gonna pick a different vegetable today. And then the next time you go, I'm gonna pick a different one this time. You know, just little slight changes. Um, again, variety in how you're balancing those portions in those food groups. Variety in our exercise. So we have a tendency to find something that we love and just stick to it. It works once, so why would we change? However, the body can get a little too used to it. So we want to change because we want to change. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. The body does get too used to it and then that's where we hit a plateau. It all comes together with consistency and variety with your nutrition, with your water, with your sleep, with your exercise, with your mindset. It will, I believe, help reduce that bloating. These aren't magic pills, like it doesn't happen overnight. Um, it is something that we do need to continue to work on constantly. So once you're like, okay, I feel a change, something's happening, it doesn't mean we go back to how we were. Of Okay, well now this is how I stick to it. So now this is what I eat every day. Now this is the exercise program I do every day. Now we need to constantly stay in that state of consistency and variety constantly stay in that state of paying attention to our body. So that is what I have for you. If you want to know more about honing in on your nutrition, balancing those portions, balancing um, your food groups, and finding a new workout program for yourself and getting into your mindset, I'm going to be teaching more about that in my November accountability group that is starting in just a couple of weeks. So go ahead and message me below and I will get you all the details about that. And if you have any more questions about bloating, then yeah, hit me up below on that also. So thanks so much for watching today and I hope you have a really happy weekend. We're gonna come back live next Friday, I believe at the lunch hour. That is my intention with these lives is to come back on um, at the lunch hour. We'll do let's do lunch. Um, but we have fall break going on here today so or this weekend and that's why we're on a little bit earlier today. So thank you for your flexibility with that one. Um, next week, I believe we are going to talk about health and the holidays and how in the world to go about that one, right? <laughs> so if you have any specific thoughts, questions, struggles with that, please send me a private message, a DM about it. I would love to hear what is going on for you with health and the holidays.